The CDC will be meeting to discuss what comes next for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine after it was paused just yesterday because of reports of rare blood clots. Yeah, we know that this has this news has been a little bit of an alarming uh, in, information for folks, especially if you receive the shot. Fox Carolina's Justin Dorsey is working to answer some of the questions that we've been asked. That's right, guys, and all morning long, we've been working to get the latest information for you. Now, the CDC and the FDA, they say right now, although these adverse effects are very rare, they still want to pause the vaccine to make sure that everyone is able to stay safe. They want to stop anybody else from taking it right now until the investigation is fully complete. Now, I want you to take a look at your screen here. We're going to run through some of these numbers. According to Prisma Health, of their more than 300,000 vaccines that they have given out, only 1% of them have even been the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Now across the state, more than 82,000 people have received the vaccine. So if you're one of those, it's important to note that officials say if you've already got the shot in three weeks have passed, you're expected to be okay. But if you got it recently, you may have a sore arm or normal flu-like symptoms. But if you start experiencing things like a severe headache, shortness of breath, or even tiny red spots, you need to call a doctor right away. Now with these recent developments, some people are really on the fence about what they should do. Take a look. I'm currently um, nine weeks pregnant, so very early on. Um, I personally thought there's not enough information out there. Obviously, everyone wants this to be over with. They want to be in a world where there's no more masks, there's no more worries. Um, and so I thought that does kind of set it back a little bit more. Now, our team spoke with managers over at a local pharmacy about what they need to do with their Johnson & Johnson doses that they already have in stock. They were told to just hold on to them right now until the investigation and the research is completely finished. And from then on, they'll know what to do later on down the road. Guys, 